Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, let us discuss about one of the important uh, endocrine disorders that is uh, hypothyroidism and mixed edema coma. When the thyroid hormone level decreases in our body, all metabolic activities will come down. We call it as hypothyroidism. Thyroid hormone production is reduced. It is very, very common in female patients than male patients. It is classified into two important uh, categories. Primary hypothyroidism, the problem is in the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is not producing thyroid hormone. It can be due to various reasons. Secondary pituitary hypothalamus disorder leading to uh, thyroid disorder. That is secondary, but that is very, very rare. No, most of the cases, uh, what we see in our practice will be primary. Thyroid diseases whether it is hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism can be easily uh, detected by testing thyroid function test. So now it is very common that every patient as a part of health checkup, uh, every person as a part of their health checkup, they always do thyroid function tests. That's why nowadays we are not seeing uh, proper hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. Initially itself patients are detected and treated properly. When we are doing thyroid function test, we have three important tests, uh, free T4, T3 and TSH. The TSH, TSH levels are always high in hypothyroidism. T3 and T4 levels can be low. So once you diagnose hypothyroidism, normally these patients are treated with levothyroxine and uh, that has to be taken in the morning before food and that has to be continued. TSH level will be monitored during the treatment. It has to be towards the lower limit of the normal values. Normally, what we see in our lab values 0 to uh, 4.5 or something uh, TSH. If it is towards 0 and in between 0 and 2, it is normal. The, so, TSH has to be towards the lower limit of the normal value. Uh, that is, uh, then the uh, patient is getting adequate uh, uh, thyroid hormone replacement. The normal dosage for an average adult patient is 1.6 microgram per kg body weight. So these tablets are available in 12.5, uh, 25, 50, 75, 80, uh, 82.5, 100. 125 in various doses it, they are available so each uh, bottle contains 100 tablets so every three months we do uh, TSH and according to the TSH value we adjust the dose now when the patient is on hypothyroidism uh, there are lot of clinical findings we can pick up from the patient the most important clinical finding will be generalized edema or anasarca they have non pitting type of pedal edema they have cold intolerance, they have facial puffiness, they can have, some of the patients can have goiter, voice changes can occur, husky voice can occur, heart rate is typically reduced, it is bradycardia, carpal tunnel syndrome can be there in many patients, menorrhagia is classical, constipation is very very common and patient always complain about weight gain. These are the common findings in uh, hypothyroidism just opposite occurs in hyperthyroidism because all metabolic activities are increased so symptoms are uh, weakness dry skin uh, hair loss cold uh, peripheries and co uh, feeling cold patient always complaining about uh, cold intolerance poor memory difficulty in concentration dementia depression weight gain poor appetite constipation dyspnea hoarseness of voice, impaired hearing, menorrhagia, paresthesia, loss of libido, infertility, depression, psychotic disorders. Signs, again, dry skin, cold peripheries, vitiligo, alopecia, these are part of uh, some autoimmune diseases. Myxedema phase, that is periorbital puffiness, loss of lateral eyebrows, uh, carotonemia, uh, edema of the hands, feet, they are non-pitting edema. Heart rate is low, bradycardia can have severe bradycardia, delayed tendon reflux that we will see afterwards, carpal tunnel syndrome, they are entrapment neuropathies, they are very common in hypothyroidism, pericardial effusion, pleural effusion, cerebellar disorders. So that cerebellar disorders are not very common, 
but untreated patients can have so you can remember this with a mnemonic mom saw tired memory loss obesity menorrhagia slowness skin and hair dryness edema all over the body tiredness intolerance to cold raised bp elevated cholesterol levels that is very very important many patients with hypothyroidism can have very high cholesterol if you treat them properly the cholesterol level will come down without any statins delayed tendon reflexes depression mixed edema coma is defined as severe hypothyroidism leading to decreased mental status that is patient develops low gcs hypothermia temperatures are very low and other symptoms related to multiple organ dysfunction syndrome it mainly occurs in elderly individual and those who having some infections like pneumonia urinary tract infection uh, severe uh, 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 illness like congestive cardiac failure myocardial infarction gi bleed cva or some sedatives itself can produce this aggravation of hypothyroidism and they may go to mixed edema coma they have low gcs seizures are common hypothermia is very very classical uh, temperature less than 95 degree fahrenheit hypotension bradycardia hyponatremia hypoglycemia hyperventilation syndromes respiratory acidosis all these things can be there in hypothyroidism induced coma so another important finding what we see in hypothyroidism ideally patient has to be kneel kneel down on a bed and the foot will be hanging out of the bed and you can see the tendon reflexes so even when we are telling it is a delayed tendon reflex it is a delayed relaxation of the tendon jerk so when you are uh, percussing on the tendon the action is fast but the relaxation phase of the tendon jerk is very low you can see the muscles are relaxing in a slow mode in slow motion in this type of uh, problem this is called as hung up angle re uh, reflex or waltman sign this is a named sign this is a uh, uh, ex well explained sign in hypothyroidism but nowadays we are not seeing this because uh, many patients are taking medicine very early itself so we will not be seeing this type of signs uh, nowadays but in a patient who is admitted with coma we have to always check uh, uh, angle jerk because this type of uh, examination is not possible normal angle jerk, jerk examination can be done and you can see the muscles sometimes will be Uh, relaxing very slowly even if you, if you tap on the calf muscle itself you can see the relaxation of calf muscle will be very slow and you can make a possible diagnosis of hypothyroid coma other important problems are hyponatremia hypothermia hypoventilation that hypothermia is very very classical if the patient is having uh, 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 mixed edema coma their body temperature will be very low and they can have bradycardia Uh, and uh, other features the, all these things are due to re reduced metabolism when the metabolism increases the patient will have fever when the me metabolism reduces patient can have hypothermia hyponatremia also seen in many patients sometimes it is due to water uh, uh, free water uh, reten retention uh, during this uh, problem sometimes real hyponatremia also can be there but uh, many patients may not require any treatment for hypothermia Uh, sorry hyponatremia in uh, mixed edema coma but if the patient does not improve with your routine treatment then you have to take care of the hyponatremia part also many patients can have hypo uh, ventilation if uh, some of the patients are very obese and they can have obstructive sleep apnea syndrome also and uh, patients who is having hypo uh, uh, hypothyroidism for a long time they have uh, airway obstruction only because of this uh, obstructive sleep apnea type disorder so hypoventilation can be due to uh, respiratory center depression or due to obstructive sleep apnea uh, related problem some of the patients can have severe hypoglycemia hypoglycemia occur due to uh, due to uh, hypothyroidism alone or uh, by concurrent adrenal insufficiency due to autoimmune adrenal disorder or hypothalamic pituitary disease or some sepsis so sepsis itself can produce hypoglycemia hypothyroidism can produce hypoglycemia and some uh, uh, adrenal insufficiency also can lead to hypoglycemia but many patients who is having hypothyroidism 
they are actually diabetic. Most of the hypothyroid patients can have diabetes also. Cardiovascular abnormalities are very very common in patients who is having hypothyroidism. They can have ischemic heart disease, they can have bradycardia, they can have conduction disorders, block. So all these uh, conditions can come in patients who is having hypothyroidism. But classical thing is bradycardia with some ECG, STT changes, T wave inversion can be there. Only thing is that if the patient is having hypothyroidism with cardiac disease, when we, ha when we are giving thyroid replacement hormone, there can be tachycardia and that tachycardia sometimes create more problem because patient is having already pre-existing ischemic heart disease. If we are rapidly increasing the heart rate uh, with thyroid hormone, some of the patients can develop complication but th that, that is acceptable because if we keep the patient in uh, that uh, low metabolic mode, they can have a lot of uh, problems including multi-organ dysfunction. So better to treat the patient first but we have to anticipate problems in cardiovascular problem. Mortality rate is 50% uh, if uh, it is not treated well. CSF normally we don't do but if uh, due to some reason like patient is having altered behavior some of the patients may be subjected to uh, lumbar puncture you can see elevated protein. This is one of the condition where you get elevated protein without elevation of the cells. So that is explained in various other conditions uh, like GBS and all it is explained albuminocytological disorder same condition here also you can see. Other investigation lab test TSH will be always high if thyroid gland is not working properly thyroid stimulating hormone levels will increase to stimulate thyroid gland so tsh is always high free t4 is low low serum cortisol is seen in many patients uh, that uh, that may be uh, because of uh, uh, adrenal insufficiency blood sugars are uh, some of the patients they can have low blood sugar some patients can have very high blood sugar because of diabetic ketoacidosis Always infection screen has to be done because infection is one of the major problem in hypothyroidism that screen has to be done. All infection should be ruled out like chest x-ray, urine routine, uh, procalcitonin, all these things should be done. ECG normally produces, uh, shows bradycardia with T wave inversion. Low voltage complex is also very very common. Cholesterol levels are mostly elevated in hypothyroidism. And you can see here, we will see uh, a TSH level uh, that is elevated, free T4, it is elevated, then it is hypothyroidism. So hypothyroidism, uh, TSH is elevated, then free T4 is low, hypothyroidism. The other conditions, we'll, when, when we discuss other conditions, we will go to that. So TSH is elevated, free T4 is low, hypothyroidism. Any patient who is coming with altered behavior, hypothermia, bradycardia, then always check a TSH value. If the TSH value is very high, then think about hypothyroidism. Especially when the patient is having hypothyroidism and they are on some drugs, if they come with some severe infection, they might have missed one or two tablets of hypothyroid uh, uh, hormone, then they have a higher chance for uh, mixed edema coma. So another important test is TPO. TPO advantage, TPO should not be done in a case of uh, mixed edema coma. We already known case, no need to do that. Suppose somebody is admitted with uh, hypothyroid, suspected mixed edema coma, if TSH is slightly elevated, if you want to know whether this patient is having permanent hypothyroidism or if the patient may develop permanent hypothyroidism, TPO is a very good tool. Actually, TPO is not a uh, advisable investigation in a case of Mixed hemocoma, it is a, a part of investigation in hypothyroidism. If the TPO is elevated, then it is a immune mediated hypothyroidism. That patient requires permanent hormone replacement therapy. If TPO is negative, it can be due to various other reasons for hypothyroidism. Some of the patients may revert back to normal after some times. But here, if the TPO is positive, it's per, uh, mostly it is immune mediated disorder they require permanent hormone replacement therapy. Now management of mixed edema coma is uh, T4 IV if it is available T4 IV and T3 IV can be given but in our country at present T4 T3 IV is not available in all hospitals so better to go for oral tablets you can put a rice tube and start oral tablet of uh, thyroid hormone 
uh, Thyronom or uh, other brands, any other brand which is available in uh, your hospital, you can start. So, T4, 200 to 400 microgram uh, IV or oral can be given. So, uh, T3 also can be given, 5 to 20 microgram. Uh, that also not may not be available in every hospital, but uh, T4 is available, tablets are available everywhere. You can start tablets. So, if IV preparations are not available, you can give tablets. Steroids should be given in most of the patients because concomitant uh, adrenal insufficiency is very, very common in patients who is having hypothyroidism because hypothyroidism itself will produce bradycardia and hypotension and we will not be able to detect uh, steroid deficiency in acute condition. We will have to send a uh, cortisol level uh, in patients who is having uh, this uh, mixed hemocoma. Or we can straight away start uh, hydrocortisone 100 milligram IV or 50 milligram IV every 8th hourly. So that should be continued and BP can increase with hydrocortisone in adrenal insufficiency. External warming is very very important. Whatever way we can do external warming should be done for the patient uh, and uh, we can give whatever IV fluids we are giving that should be warmed. We have to be very careful in patient who is having hypothermia in ECG sometimes you can see Osborne valves also uh, but I am not discussing hypothermia here so I will not go to the details of that but patient should be rewarmed properly otherwise patient can have hypothermia and hypothermia induced problem we know that hypothermia can induce lot of uh, vascular problems like uh, uh, obstruction thrombus so many problems can be produced by uh, uh, DIC, so many things can be produced by hypothermia itself. So, once the patient is stabilized, you can continue the patient on uh, levothyroxine tablet. If the patient is having uh, IV preparation, then switch to oral tablets, levothyroxine 1.6 microgram. That should be given morning before breakfast. If you are giving 100 microgram, give it morning before breakfast. That is very important and uh, suppose the patient is having uh, uh, mixed edema coma on a, a, a thyroid replacement therapy during a stress that whether it is an infection, trauma, accident, whatever it is, you have to just uh, hike the dose up, dose to at least 25% uh, uh, is minimum but some uh, sometimes we will have to give double the dose of what the patient is taking. You can always see whenever there is a mixed edema related problem, you can see the heart rate. If the heart rate is showing bradycardia, uh, suppose the patient is not on beta blocker and all, it, it, it is very reliable indicator. If the patient is having bradycardia, just increase the dose and see the uh, heart rate. If the heart rate goes to tachycardia side, that, that is the uh, end point of your uh, dose increment. Always monitor the TSH when we are increasing the dose of thyroid hormone. Normally, uh, TSH dose will not be changed immediately after uh, initial treatment. It takes some time. So, we do not uh, follow the, uh, for, we, we do not do a TSH immediately after uh, treatment. After one or two days, one or two weeks only, we can check the TSH. Ideally, TSH should be done every three months and it has to be less than, uh, sorry, it, it should be the towards the lower limit of the normal uh, range okay so uh, that is about uh, hypothyroidism and its management so we have uh, discussed about one of the important uh, uh, endocrine disorder that is mixed edema mixed edema comma means in hypothyroid patient or undetected hypothyroid patient due to various reasons like stressful conditions whether it is surgery trauma pregnancy whatever it is the requirement of thyroid hormone is very high or if the patient has not taken the tablet properly then also acute uh, reduction in the thyroid hormone occurs all our metabolic activities are dependent on this thyroid hormone so patient will go to a stage like a completely vegetative state so patient will be in comatose heart rate will decrease sweating will decrease there will not, there, uh, body temperature will decrease uh, cardiac activity will come down, all organ activities will come down. So, patients slowly go to a state that uh, multi-organ dysfunction syndrome. Uh, it is something like uh, infection where the patient develops multi-organ dysfunction syndrome. Here the metabolic activities are coming down, patient go to multi-organ dysfunction syndrome 
uh, and uh, if you don't treat properly that will produce permanent damage to the patient so uh, we know that many of the things which is given in books are not available in our country like uh, iv uh, t3 t4 is not available rewarming techniques are not available so we have to uh, we have to um, uh, adapt our own uh, mechanism we have to start oral tablets through rails tube uh, whatever dose is prescribed in the previous slides um, i oral tablets monitor tsh all iv fluid should be warmed avoid cold climate give blankets increase the body temperature whatever we can do to increase the body temperature that is very good thank you